city falls under the spell of the Mets. How did it happen? How did those lowly Mets reach this pinnacle? Fans everywhere are all in disbelief. They are all speechless. All that is, except for one. I believe the New York Mets are amazing, 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 amazing. They're just finding out now that it's just October, and they found out now around the United States and all the patrons of New York City and Shea Stadium that they are amazing. They'll be amazing, amazing, amazing. And this year, I want you to follow them. They'll be known in all the periodicals because they'll be in South America. New Year's Day will be their best game. This year will get over in a hurry because the other clubs have to be strengthened more if they're going to do anything to surprise the amazing, amazing Mets. Joe DiMaggio, baseball's greatest living player, throws out the first ball for game five as the Mets shoot for baseball's world championship. It's a rematch between Dave McNally and Jerry Kuzman. In the top of the third, Mark Belanger leads off with a hit to right. Swoboda makes a surprise throw to first, where heads-up catcher Jerry Grody tries to win a shoving match. Pitcher Dave McNally up. The Mets are playing him to bunt. Some bunt. Into the Baltimore bullpen. The Orioles lead two to nothing. McNally's homer is the first extra base hit for Baltimore in 35 innings. And it proves contagious. With two out, Frank Robinson really bombs one over the left center field fence. And the Orioles now lead three to nothing. In the top of the sixth, it's still three to nothing as Kuzman again battles Frank Robinson. It hits the bat, says umpire Lou DeMiro. It hit me first, right here, screams Frank Robinson. It hit the bat after it hit me. Now in stop motion, Kuzman's pitch, it seems, actually did hit Robinson and then bounced up to hit his bat. You know, it's a lot tougher to call the play when you're standing behind the catcher and you don't have the benefit of stop motion photography. Frank then looks at a third strike, which certainly doesn't help his feelings any. McNally now faces the Mets in the bottom of the sixth. The Birds leading 3 0. Cleon Jones is the leadoff batter. Lightning strikes twice. He too looks like he's hit by a pitch. But wait a minute. Is he or isn't he? Did he hit him? Yep. Whoa, he hit him. How wonderful. Amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Leon has Don Clendenin carrying the argument for him. But the clincher comes when manager Gil Hodges brings out the evidence. See, a baseball with shoe polish on it from where the ball struck Cleon on the foot. The umpire admits the evidence is overwhelming and promptly awards Cleon Jones first base. The amazing Mets, it appears, even win their verbal battles. This naturally brings out Baltimore manager Earl Weaver with a few well-chosen words of his own. Destiny seems set against him. He's having the same results with arguments as he is with games. He isn't winning any. Now with a man on first, McNally has to face Clendenin, the series' most potent slugger. Clendenin really belts one. A tremendous home run, his third of the series, setting a record for a five-game series. Two run score, and the Baltimore lead is cut to three to two. The hard-hitting Clendenin is destined to be named the series' most valuable player. The Mets at bat in the seventh. Al Weiss, not known for power, drives McNally's second pitch over the left center field fence to tie the score at three all. Weiss has never hit a homer in Shea Stadium during the two seasons he's been with the Mets. But isn't that first time something? The crowd loves it. Last of the eighth. 
Score tied three all. Ed Watt now pitching for the Orioles. Cleon Jones, the first man up, really lays into one. And just misses the home run. He winds up with a double. One out later, Ron Swoboda comes to bat. Swoboda belts a liner to left. Buford makes a nice running trap, but it goes for a double, scoring Cleon Jones with a lead run. Four to three now in favor of the Mets. With two out, Gary Grody's up. Grody hits a ground to the right side. Powell bobbles it, picks it up, tosses to the pitcher who covers late. Watt drops the ball as Swoboda roars home from second with a Mets fifth run. The city's at a standstill. Everywhere, fans are glued to radio and television sets as the Mets get ready for the top of the ninth, leading 5-3, to three, needing only three more outs for the World Championship. Frank Robinson leads off with a walk. Boog Powell is next. Powell forces Frank Robinson at second. Al Weiss to Bud Harrelson. One down. Brooks Robinson at the plate. It's a high fly to right field. Swoboda. Two outs, one more to go. Dave Johnson at bat. 